Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm just gonna show you a few of my favorite makeup products. So yeah, it's just, it's probably gonna take a little while because I have a lot and I'm just gonna do it step by step or drawer by drawer because that's how it's gonna work today. <laughs> so my first three products go together. Uh, Wonderlust eyeshadow palette in Austin Downtown Dusk, Midnight Manhattan, and LA Hollywood Hills. These are the flower eyeshadow palettes. They are by uh, Drew Barrymore. And they are super pretty and super pigmented. Like, look at that. I'm not good at swatching. But yeah, you get the picture. They are really foiled and really glittery and they stay on really well. This is the Austin Downtown Dusk. So yeah, and then NYC Midnight Manhattan. I love New York. So yeah. Those are first on my list of my favorite palettes in my first drawer. Second is a lot of uh, people have been talking about how horrible these palettes are, but I actually really like this one, especially this green color right here, Trickery. It looks beautiful on the eyelids, and I kind of like the dark colors, so... This is the Morphe and Jaclyn Hill Dark Magic Palette. And it's just, it's beautiful, I think. I love the colors. I love the names. Mojo, Inside Job, Busted, Potion, Trickery, Diversion, Temptress, Temptress, <laughs> I can't talk. The next palette is from this brand called Bad Habit and this company called Hush sells it and really it's just been like my go-to palette it's the Divine palette it's just, it was not expensive at all you guys should totally check out the Hush website because it's awesome and look at those colors like Poseidon yes that is my favorite and it's just it goes on really well especially with a uh, primer fix plus so yeah that's my next palette this one I recently just bought and I became obsessed because I love the fall colors in it this is the urban decay born to run and plus I like love the idea behind it the packaging is beautiful so yeah and I just I love how pigmented they are and it's just, they're beautiful. <laughs> it's not much. This I've been using a lot for my inner corner. It's the Violet Boss Rainbow Palette. And it's just mostly really, really pigmented shimmery shades. But they make for really good, like, inner corner highlights. Like, look at that. I love it and sea foam and it's really creamy too so I'm obsessed with those and then the last one <laughs> but not least <laughs> I had to buy this it's the something pretty Kylie Jenner palette Eek. I told myself I wasn't gonna do it, but I ended up just doing it anyway because I love the idea behind it. I love the colors. I love the pinks and yeah, I just I even love the little fall colors they have over here and it's really a pretty palette and I love the packaging. So yeah, that's the first round. <laughs> Alright, drawer number two. Well, technically three. So this is my favorite 
contour palette. I've had it for a long time, so I'm guessing a little goes a long way. Um, I've I've seriously have used this for forever, and it's lasted me so long. I'm surprised I haven't hit pan, but it's the Too Faced Cocoa Contour. This is my favorite powder contour. It's basically the only one I mostly use. I go in with the Dark Cocoa. And that's about it. So that one right there. This one's really medium cocoa is good for bronzing. And it smells like chocolate. So yeah, that's awesome. This next one is by a company called BH Cosmetics. And I seriously need to dive into it more because look at these colors. Like, that is beautiful. It's called Weekend Festival Palette. And I know they're having a sale for Labor Day this weekend, so you should totally go and check it out. Because I know this isn't super expensive and it's a good good palette for the amount of money spent. So yeah. Next one is my go-to blush. This is uh, Benefits Blush Bar. It has the colors California, Dandelion, Rapporteur, Hula, and Gold Rush. And yeah, it's definitely like my new go-to blush. I never like had a lot of blush products, so I just grabbed this one because I heard good things about it. And yeah, Rapporteur is my favorite, and I like to, like to mix it with a uh, Dandelion. So yeah. And next. This is my favorite highlighter and they don't sell it anymore, which makes me sad because it's awesome. It's her collaboration with um, Nicole Guerre. I, I don't know. I can't pronounce her last name, so I'm not going to butcher it. But yeah, my favorite color to use is Forever Young. And that's, these highlighters are just really pigmented and... super like bam in your face <laughs> so yeah on to the next one so I just want to give like a special a special shout out to BH Cosmetic for these highlighters cuz you get a whole ton and they come in really this one is the black like version and this one is just the spotlight one so it's basically just like general colors and these are also super pigmented and I definitely recommend buying them they're really pretty and yeah they don't cost a fortune so that's always good and I know they're sold in Ulta on BH Cosmetics and on Ulta.com yeah next is very obvious it's the these are like my big palettes so Morphe Jaclyn Hill original palette. Mine's super dirty and yeah, I love this palette. Everyone basically loves it right now and for forever. <laughs> but it's a beautiful palette. The colors are so different than any other Morphe palette and super pigmented. I love the shimmers. I love that blue. It's just I made an attempt to write down the colors, but that didn't work out too well. So yeah, good job, Jacqueline. This next palette is just another BH Cosmetics palette, and I used this the other day. I used this color, and I used the hot pink. So yeah, and then the blue. <laughs> I don't know I'm going to show these. But, yeah, and I really loved the pigments and everything about this palette. And it's not super pricey either, so I just wanted to give, like, a special shout-out because, yeah, you get so many colors. The next one is the Sephora Pro Palette. I don't even know how much this was, but I would say it was a bit on the more expensive side because I had to use a gift card. But I love Sephora, and yeah, I love the colors. <laughs> it's 
definitely one of my top favorites. I definitely need to dig into this more and it's super also pigmented. I love the layout. You get giant mirror. So that also has made it to my top favorites. And then next, this one's not sold anymore, but it is like, this was like my first big palette. And I love also this layout. It's like a color wheel. And it's upside down. But I also think it's beautiful and I love all the colors. I use these ones a whole lot for transition shades and do smoky eyes. It's perfect for that. Blends really well. So yeah, that one's not sold anymore. Mi Vida Loca by Kat Von D. I love the packaging. And this one is also just re-released. This is the Dare to Create 39A palette, also by Morphe. Definitely recommend this one. You get a whole bunch of transition colors. And it's just, these colors are beautiful. So is this one. All of them are really beautiful. I just love the shimmers. And it's very holiday, fall kind of type of palette. And it says, be your own muse. We dare you. So yeah, I love that palette. It's beautiful. 39A, dare to create. You should go get it. Not super expensive either. So yeah. All right, I probably need to learn to say or not to say so yeah at the end of every video. Sorry. Need to think about my words before I say them. Alright. This is also, I don't use locket powder a lot, setting powder, but I just recently like started using this a whole lot more and it's the locket setting powder in Translucent by Kat Von D. It's a really big container, sold at Sephora on Kat Von D's website. It's really messy though. That's the thing. And these are my two favorite primers. I got this one in like the little tiny section at Sephora that you go to before the line and I think this is a really good primer. It's really refreshing. <laughs> and I also use this primer. This was my go-to when I started working at Sephora. Smashbox Photo Finish, which was one of the best jobs ever. This was my first foundation, and it's also one of my favorites, along with... I need more, sorry. The Fenty. These are both sold in Sephora. This one's a little bit more full coverage than this one. This one, though, stays on all day and feels amazing on your skin, but it is in a little bit more of a higher price range than this one. This one's buildable, but once again, I don't really use full, I don't really always need full coverage. So yeah, Fenty in 130. Um, another foundation that I really like that is sold at the drugstores is the Maybelline Fit Me. This is the Matte and Poreless in color 115 and it's my go-to drugstore foundation. I love it and I even have one for when I'm tan, which I'm not that tan this year because I couldn't really see the sun a whole ton. Alright, so my next thing on my list is, <laughs> this is from VH Cosmetics, it's the Fall Flawless Brow Trio in the color medium, and this for sure has like knocked out every other brow product for me, as you can tell, just because it's way easier to apply with a brush than I think, than with like a little spoolie and stick and it's just it's more pigmented and that's kind of what I like for my brows and yeah I really like it it was like four bucks too so go get definitely go get that one for your brows they come in other colors too I think 
this has been my go-to concealer. I haven't known another concealer that was really that fantastic before this. I didn't really use concealer. So yeah, Born This Way Multi-Use Sculpting Concealer by Too Faced. Conceal, contour, highlight, retouch. It's really, I mean, it goes on really well. It's pigmented, obviously. And I just like that applicator for it. So yeah, definitely go pick that up. And then <laughs> I use this Prep and Prime many times on my face when I'm applying my makeup. I like use it after my foundation and then once I have my eyes done I'll throw it on again. But I'll also put it on my brushes to make my the um, glitter the glitter uh, shadows more pigmented. And this is the MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus setting spray or Fix Plus spray. And this is obviously it's really dirty. So I got it from the like a little line section at Sephora, but it's also sold at Sephora, or um, also sold at Ulta, and so is this. So yeah, this is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. I think everyone talks and raves about that. This one wasn't as expensive because it's the smaller bottle, but it's still, it's still, there's some left in there and I've had it for a really long time. And that's about it for that drawer and on to the next one. All right, these next few things I'm probably just gonna go through really quickly. All right, <laughs> now I just kind of combined two drawers and I have to sort them out. But this is a liquid lipstick by Gerard Cosmetics. Um, I didn't really just pick out like I just kind of picked out the brand for the brand and not for the color like I love all colors but I just wanted to show you some really good lip brands liquid lipsticks lip gloss all that so yeah here we go Gerard Cosmetics awesome liquid lipstick this is the color West Coast super pigmented um, they come in a smaller container, but Gerard Cosmetics also has, like, amazing deals and stuff. So, yeah, and it's, you know, goes on smoothly well, and it's a really good brand. Next is ColourPop. This is the color Friday, my kind of color. And it's black. It's really all dirty and kind of losing its label but yeah so these are also a local lipstick they sell glosses too and all that uh really pigmented not super expensive I like how those colors look together really pigmented not super expensive I have to remember that you guys don't always see <laughs> what I see over here and yeah these are like seven dollars I think this is just more uh, this is a cream liquid lipstick which I also really love I loved wearing these work these are the KKW Kylie Cosmetics Kylie Cosmetics will be coming to Ulta too these are really pigmented since they're Kim Kardashian and Kylie they're mostly nudes but I like that I think they're really pretty I think all of them in the box retails for $45 which is a really awesome deal I think and speaking of Kylie I also have Kylie's matte liquid lipstick in Coco K right now for the weekend I know she's got a deal going on like buy one get one free um, lip kits so you guys should go check that out that's Coco K super pigmented I you know people say they're drying but I think they're awesome they go on my lips really well it's a liquid lipstick so liquid lipsticks aren't they're made to like stay on your face so it's not like they're gonna be like super moisturizing and good for you these are also really awesome when I was working at Sephora these just came out they came out in so many different colors these are just like I think they're called like lip stains cream lip stains yes and I was obsessed 
I think these are on sale too and I know the VIB sale is going on. Very pigmented. I wore this to work and I loved it. It was so much fun and yeah, I think you should go and definitely check these out at Sephora because they're they come in so many colors and yeah, they can just, it's not like they're just only crazy colors. There's nudes, there's reds, and they go on and last all day. This, they actually, it takes a while for it to come off me. Like, I had to really rub. This next one is Anastasia Beverly Hills, or Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the color Milkshake. I think this is a really good new color, nude color. If you put, like, a darker nude on or any kind of dark color on and you just dab this in the center of your lip you can create a really cool ombre look like and kind of just like rub it in this is the color milkshake though and I think this was one of my this is one of my like all-time favorites I would also just wear milkshake as it is and just have that like super light lip nude color Alright, next two I'm going to show you are Jeffree Star. I love Jeffree Star's formula for liquid lipstick, velour liquid lipstick. His are not super drying, I will tell you that. And it comes in just so many fun colors. My goal in life is just to have, hello, every liquid lipstick color I can get. So yeah. That's, this is the color Jawbreaker. I was wearing this the other day. It's really fun. Also really pigmented. Great formula. They, I think they even, like some of them, like the one I'm wearing now, this is watermelon soda, and it kind of had like the watermelon scent, so. Yeah. And also, these are his bullet liquid lipsticks. <laughs> I love the packaging. Obviously, that's really cool. This is the color Ice Cream Boulevard. Boulevard. <laughs> and these are a little bit cheaper than liquid lipsticks. Amazing, though. I love them. Goes on just as well as liquid lipsticks, I think. I'm not good at swatching, swatching <laughs> lipstick. I love this color. It kind of reminds me of a Mac, Mac St. Germain. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Ah. Also, speaking of MAC, this has been my go-to nude in life. You can kind of tell by the shape of it. This is Angel by MAC. It's a very creamy kind of nude. It's right there. And I love it. I think it just goes with everything. And I'll, this is... um. This is NYX Butter Gloss. These are really inexpensive. And they also have matte colors. This is not even opened. Great. And <laughs> these are really good formulas. NYX has really good liquid lipstick formulas and glosses. I My favorite gloss by them right now is Fortune Cookie. And it's just like a lighter nude. But inexpensive. Soul at Ulta. Um, drugstores also, Walgreens, um, yeah, and they're just amazing. They smell good, too. And that goes for the Soft map Matte Lip Cream. So this is why I need to breeze through these, because I'm starting to not talk well. <laughs> Alright, and then last, this is the color Holy Chic. They have a bunch of other colors. I know they had a sale, it was buy one get one free for National like, National Lipstick Day. This is the Melted Matte by Too, Fa Too Faced. <laughs> and it's just a really good nude color. This has definitely been one of my go-to's. Kind of looks like Milkshake. Okay. And yeah. Too Faced. I love Too Faced products. I love their designs and everything, so go, definitely go for the Milton Mac. I also meant to show you this earlier. This is the Locket Concealer Cream. Before I apply my eyeshadow, I put this on, and the eyeshadow like 
come I use it like as a eyeshadow primer and the eyeshadow appears darker and more pigmented on my lids so and it's in the color white out it's just the lightest color it's too pale for me to wear as a concealer so yeah I use it as a primer and it works awesomely next is bronzers grab the wrong one one moment there we go this is the pink leopard blushing bronzer I like this bronzer I like that there is a hint of blush some days I won't even wear a blush and I'll just throw the blonde bronzer on and I has has also a little bit of shimmer which I love and speaking of that's by Too Faced and speaking of Too Faced they've come out with a new packaging I recently got this one I wanted to get it at like Marshalls or whatever with the old packaging but instead I just went in and got the new one this is in the color Sun Bunny it says it right there well that was fun before I was rudely cut off by my camera battery dying. I have to remember to charge it at light. Alright, so this I don't know if you got that in the last one. This is Sun Bunny. <laughs> and it's a really shimmery pretty bronzer. I love it. Um, this is Too Faced new packaging. It kind of reminds me of a little macaroon or something. And yeah, this is one of my favorite, other favorite bronzers by Too Faced. So I like the Blushing and the Sun Bunny. Those are sold at Sephora and Ulta. And this is sold at Ulta. This is an amazing drugstore bronzer. I don't know if like CVS or Walgreens has it. They probably do. But this is the Butter Bronzer. It smells like the beach tanning sunscreen I like coconuts I love it it goes on amazingly it's matte there's no shimmer so yeah <laughs> all right next I'm gonna show you guys eyeliners I have five <laughs> five eyeliners one is a liquid eyeliner by Tarte this was always um this was always my go-to kind of eyeliner in the clay pot this is in the color black because I don't really wear color other colored eyeliner that much I need to start too but I've really gone heavily into that and I really like this eyeliner I used this was like the first kind of like eyeliner I used in college and everything when I was getting into wings and speaking of wings this is my second go-to this is actually I think it's faster now than the clay pot eyeliner and it's also very precise it's in the color trooper it's beautiful I love it it's by Kat Von D you should go get this in the VIB seal because it's amazing it stays on all day I'm wearing it now and it's Kat Von D, so, duh. <laughs> and these next two, this is an amazing eyeliner for going, like, on your waterline. I'm not so awesome at applying this on my upper eyelid. But this is just NYX. It's very inexpensive. I also have one by Avon. <laughs> also very inexpensive and they're just two black eyeliners I know you can go get eyeliners by Wet n Wild too that is also very inexpensive so yeah those are my two drugstore and go to black eyeliners this is my new favorite though this is only a mini version that I got for free this is Urban Decay's 24-7 a glide on pencil in the color zero yeah, and I have the color perversion, and they, they seriously just glide on so perfectly, and they're creamy, and yeah, so it's an awesome, awesome eyeliner. My new obsession. Alright, 
my go-to mascaras. Obviously, Too Faced Better Than Sex. And Benefit Bad Gal Bang. I love these so much. I also... Are there any drugstore mascaras I love? I loved that, like, brand Demi Lovato came out with with NYC. It was just, like, a chunky mascara. I still have it. But I loved it. And Maybelline also makes some really awesome mascaras. But these have honestly just been my go-tos in life. I love Better Than Sex and I love Benefit. This is basically as like non-dramatic as I'll get because I love having dramatic eyelashes and I have yet to use fake eyelashes. So, and these are just the, my last two little shadows that I wanted to give a special shout out to. <laughs> This is the NYX Prismatic Shadows. They come in so many different colors and they are beautiful. This one is like my all-time favorite. It's called Mermaid. And I mean, it's just beautiful. I love it. And I used it as an inner corner the other day and no regrets. <laughs> and last but not least, these are the Dila Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadows. It comes in like a lip gloss container. Everybody was raving about these and I found like a little mini pack of three at Sephora for $25. So I went for it and they're beautiful. I have three different colors. I love using them on my eyelids. They're not really an inner corner kind of thing for me. This is in the color Diamond Dust. There's another color. I think it's called like Storm or something like that. But yeah, these are sold at Sephora. These are both sold at like Ulta and Sephora. And the next one's also Ulta. And yeah, so those have been my go-to makeups. I don't think there's anything else. I'm trying to like look around my vanity and see. Could probably see my dog behind me. Franklin, can you say hi? He's sleepy. This jacket, that's my latest obsession. It's from Kohl's. This top, <laughs> this is from Target and it's just like um, part of their like new line. They had like the clueless skirt which I got too and it's just like a crop tank top and then I have, I don't know if you can see it because I'm close and the chair. So yeah and this is a squirt from Fashion Nova. I just started ordering from Fashion Nova and I'm obsessed because they are so inexpensive and fast delivery and they have like high quality products and products that expensive stores would sell and I just don't have that money right now obviously so and I'm not sponsored by them but I wish I was. So yeah that's the end of this beautiful video. I hope you guys have a had a lovely day. <laughs> I don't know what else to say. It's been an interesting 2018. It is now 11-11. So I'm just going to leave it at that. And yeah. Check me out on my next video. Subscribe to my channel. I'm going to start putting out more and more videos. I need video ideas. And I just need... There's a bucket. Oh my gosh, there's a moth. <laughs> okay, sorry. And yeah, so I just need suggestions and ideas for this channel. So subscribe, click that little bell down there to let you know when I post a video. And yeah. And I'm going to also put out a question. 
where are you going on vacation next year because I have this really big urge to go to New York and California two different ends I've been to New York I loved it so I definitely want to go back and like visit my friend but now I know someone in California and I want to go visit her with my best friend too it's my best friend's sister my dog is going